I sent my guy out yesterday to do a detail and what happened was I got a report back from the customer saying, hey, there was a hole inside of my seat. Good morning, everybody. What's going on? It's your boy, Luis, while I can detailing right behind me. We have this Tesla here. This one's going to be receiving our maintenance package. OK, but I told my homie Ray is here. We ain't going to do script. We ain't going to do none of that. We're just gonna free it, right? Cause that's how I wanna show you guys how it really is. We're not gonna do no script, just kinda go off the top. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And if you guys have any suggestions for me too, that you guys, any topics that you guys want me to touch on, wherever you guys wanna go, all right? So I'm just prepping all my stuff right now. I got my caramel macchiato right here. You feel me? Because we need to get pumped for this day. You know what I'm saying? We need to get pumped. We gonna hit the gym later too. So I need my caffeine. I cannot operate without caffeine, but we check all the stuff in the morning. We're all good to go. We're just setting up. We're gonna do this wash on the outside and then we're gonna go ahead and do the inside. We'll see if that comes out, but that, uh, we'll see. We'll oh, see it, if that it did come out. Yeah, it's coming out a little bit. And that's super important, guys. You guys want to like check in it for any damages. Like even if you think they know it's already there, I actually had someone yesterday message me. Whenever we're doing like details, sometimes I send my employees out and I'm doing like all the back end work. For example, today we do have a slow day today. So we basically just have this maintenance to take care of. So I just handle it. You know what I'm saying? Especially since I wanted to go ahead and record a content for you guys. So I'm out here. I sent my guy out yesterday to do a detail. And what happened was I got a report back from the customer saying, hey, there was a hole inside of my seat. Basically, I told him this because he uses that truck for construction. He's got nails in the car. He does demolition. He does uh, drywall. He does painting. The chances of him having something sharp is a lot higher than me coming in with a rag and a towel. And that's how I explained it to him. Than me coming in rag and a towel and purposely making a hole in his seat. You know what I'm saying? And then I talked to my employee and let him know, hey, like, you know, I know it wasn't you. Like, I know, like, it could have been him because we don't have anything sharp to do. Like, it looked like he said he told me it looked like someone took a knife and stabbed the seat. And so we don't have anything like that. No tool that we have in our truck can do that. And especially even if we have our keys, our keys are not going to scratch leather, if anything, it's not going to create a hole. And so I told him the importance of like, even if you know that the customer might know that it's there, document it because you don't want something like this to happen where they're just blaming it on you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So document anything that you see, take a picture of it or let the customer know right away. That way you can already know like, hey, like peace of mind that that wasn't me. And then, you know, it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? So that's super important. Good, good catch. So what ended up happening with that customer? So what he ended up telling me was like, hey, you know what? Like uh, maybe it could have been me. I like the way we do business. So let's let, let's keep going that way. But yeah, I, at first I was kind of sketched out because I'm like, I know like you're not about to blame me for creating holes in your thing. I told him we, we our goal is to make the cars look better. We don't try to make them look any worse. So like, you know what I'm saying? If we do something, we're going to own up to it. But for stuff like that, it's like, come on, like, you know, like. Let me ask you something, Luis. Was this a customer that you had for a while, but just started sending out an employee? Mm -hmm. One thing I noticed is that a lot of customers kind of put it in their heads. I don't like this guy. He does a worse job, mm -hmm. even though he may do a better job than you, yeah. but it's because they like you. Yes. You get what I'm saying? No, yeah, yeah. And that's very, very true. Cause I've done this guy's car so many times. He's a maintenance client. He's a super cool guy. He's always hitting me up. And that's why I found it kind of weird that the first time I sent my employee out by himself, there's a hole in his seat. But my employee had let me know that he had seen that prior to him even touching the car. And again, he's using the car for construction, demolition. I feel like I've talked about this in the other video where I say when it comes to branding, right? My brand doesn't have my name on it because if I was to put Luis's mobile detail, they're always going to expect Luis. You know what I'm saying? They're always going to be expecting Luis. And so when Luis doesn't pull up, like, hey, where the hell is Luis? Who's this, who's this dude right here? Get him out of here. I want Luis. You know what I'm saying? What we do is I sent out my eye candy squad, man. I sent out the eye candy crew. And so we are trained to do this. We know how to do this. We are specialists in this. I've done that a lot of times with him and I've never had a problem. It was a good learning lesson for him. Like, you know, like, hey, document it document it i don't care if you've seen it before just document it take a picture of it let me know and i'll let the customer know you don't got to do anything louise so how long have you had this customer so this is the first time customer here and so she hit me up and let me know that she was looking for a maintenance detail to which i responded hey you know what maintenance detail is fine but if you've never received like a detail package it might not be as quality as uh, as you think 
Our maintenance detail will go for around one hour to an hour and a half. And there's only so much we can do there. So if your car can get done within that time and you're comfortable with that, let's book it, let's do it. And then so she said, yeah, that's what her budget is. And that's where she feels like she's at. I looked at the car, the car is not that bad. So totally fine with that. Had the car been worse, had the car been worse, that's where I would basically tell her, I don't think you're really gonna benefit from, from this package. I think you should go with something a little higher to get the better results. Or we can just focus maybe on one area instead of me like breaking it down between the wash and the interior. Maybe let's just focus on the interior. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so, but I checked out the car. The car looks really, really good. It's in good condition. So maintenance is the best for this, you know? Hey, one thing I heard about apartment complexes, bro. Mm -hmm. One thing I heard about parking lots and all that. Customers coming up. Oh yeah, dude, they be coming up. Like right now he came, he asked for a business card. The thing I've been trying out guys lately is not handing out business cards. Instead of being like, hey, I ran out of business cards. We'd be giving out too much of them. Let me actually just get your phone number and then we, I'll go ahead and follow up with you. So instead of them taking the card and maybe not hitting you up or losing it, now I got his, his contact on my phone and I can just follow up with him and be like, hey dude, like, hey, we met over here. If you're interested in the detail, boom, boom, boom. I, it's better for me to contact him that way. You know what I'm saying? And so that's been working a lot for me like lately. You like you have a lot of knowledge, bro. And you seem like you want to help a lot of detailers. Do you have anything that they yes, can do? Yes, sir. Hey, guys, in the description of the video, I'm going to go ahead and link a Discord. If you guys don't know what a Discord is, I don't even know what to tell you, bro. Just download Discord, all right? We have a community of detailers. Right now, we're about 40 plus detailers and we all help each other out, we all got questions. And so if you're a new detailer, if you're an experienced detailer, we want you in this group. Again, really, really cool community. They're super laid back. Sometimes I gotta tell them to chill because they be going off in the chats, they're, but they're hella funny and they make me laugh. We help each other out and that's the most important thing. Like whenever it comes to prices or how much should I charge for this? Or is anybody available to help me out with this? Boom, boom, boom. That all happens in that Discord. And so we want to make this the biggest Discord ever. So you guys got to join. The link is gonna be in the description. So make sure you guys check it out, all right? All right, guys, I ran into a little situation, all right? So this customer basically asked me to remove this adhesive that they have around the rims. I've been trying to take it off and it's just not coming off. I did this piece right here, but it took me like a good like 10 minutes just to get this part right here because I'm like trying to get it off. So I'm going to have to explain to her that basically we can't do that since this is a maintenance package. Like I only have an hour, so I want to focus on the other areas of the car rather focusing on this rim. But if she would like to go ahead and get that removed, she's gonna have to get a more extensive detail, especially on these rims, for me to get that off. Unless you guys know a way to get it off a lot faster. It took me a while to just take that piece off, so let me know what you guys would do. And guys, I gotta give you guys this game real quick. My homies, Devin Auto Detailing and Frontline Auto Detailing put me on this really, really good tip where they put DI, I mean, uh, not DI, if you don't have DI water, we put o and r in our water tanks now and the working time you have especially in the sun increased like crazy and what i'm talking about is like you're not gonna get like water spots like crazy you have more time to like wash the car and everything because it just kind of helps it softens the water a little bit and i've noticed that a lot especially when i'm doing like cars in the direct heat that we still have a lot of time to come back and touch up because we'll see some water spots then we hit it with like a little sealant real quick and just wipe it off and it'll come right off where we're back then it's like we had to polish those things off so if you guys don't have DI water, a little bit of ONR, like a cap pool in your water tank, two cap pools if it's bigger, it does magic, dude, real, like real stock. That's game, that's game. And if anybody's wondering what you have to get, you can get the ONR. I got this one from Amazon, which is a gallon, and I've been using it for a really, really long time, and I barely got it down to here. A little goes a long way. You use too much of this, and it starts to streak up on the paint, so you don't want to use a lot. And Absolute Rinseless Wash is one I've been trying out. Shout out my man's Joe. Boom, Bay Area Car Care Products, who hooked us up with this one right here for us to try out. This stuff has been going really good too, so I can't choose between the two. Any of them work, really. You kind of broke it down for the customer uh, like one hour hour and a half yes yeah so i've been trying to implement that just because i know some people want like cheaper packages and it's fine with me but they got to understand that the quality lowering the price is going to also lower the quality 
I can't spend the same amount of time on this customer as I would for a person who's spending it on a full detail who's paying for that level of service. So let them know, hey, we're gonna spend like an hour, an hour and a half. There's only so much we can get to in that time. So if you're okay with that, I'm good to go. If you want more meticulous work, I do recommend our detail packages, which start at this. He's like, yeah, no, I'd rather just do it like that. I'm like, okay, cool. He understands that he's, I'm gonna spend like an hour, an hour and a half. And he understands that there's only so much that I can get to make the car look good. It's gonna get done, right? And we also explained to him about this rim situation that it's gonna take a lot of time. He understood that, yeah, he said, okay, it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and just get a bucket and go at it. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. But I do offer a service where we can go ahead and get that off but it's just gonna take more time than what we agreed to. And so he was cool with it. Just being like, communicate with your customers. Don't be afraid, you know what I'm saying? Like communicate with them, they'll understand. All right guys, and that wraps up today's video. The Tesla's all done. It took us about an hour, hour and a half to complete the, the Tesla, which is good. And if you guys wanna see more content, let me know. Let me, give me some ideas, man, so we can go ahead and keep dropping the gems for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at iCandy.Detailing. And also, the Discord is going to be at the bottom if you guys want to go ahead and join. I would love to see you guys there and we can chat it up there for sure. Alright guys, peace out.